Hey guys, welcome to another episode on how to use Ari, auto repair software. My name is Cameron, and here's what I have in store for you today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the accounting feature in the Ari Auto Repair app. Log into the app, and first, you need to make sure you have already completed your company profile setup. If not, please check the description. There you will find a link with a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up your Ari Auto Repair company profile. Now, let's get into the accounting section. Here, you will find expenses, purchases, and income. The expenses section will allow you to keep track of all your payments to employees and vendors. We will add a new expense by clicking on the Add button. Starting from the top, you will be able to select the expense type. Once you have selected the expense type, you will have to assign this to an employee, vendor, or supplier. So you need to make sure you have them registered in the Ari Auto Repair app. You can find out how to add employees, vendors, and suppliers by watching the How to Set Up Your Auto Repair Company Profile tutorial. I will select this vendor by clicking on it, and now I can add multiple items by creating a new record, filling in all the details, and saving the changes. You can also manually add the amount, tax, and the amount that has been paid. You can add a note for this expense. Date, purchase order number, invoice number, and you can also attach a receipt or invoice. Once you have finished all the details, you can save this expense. Now let's add another one, but this time we will select an employee salary type. I will select the employee, and now I also have the option of importing labor times from time tracking that was added for this employee. From here, I can select and import time records. Once imported, I can also set different rates or change quantities. Once I have everything set up, I will hit Save Changes, and the total amount of my records will be displayed. Here, I also have the option to create a payslip by clicking on this button. And then I can download or print this payslip. This list of expenses can also be exported to Excel by clicking here. Now, let's continue to the Purchases section and click on the plus button to add a new purchase. Add the purchase number and date, then select the vendor. Here, you have the option to add the parts from inventory. You can order parts from Parts Tech, or you can also add parts manually. You also have the option to add notes for this purchase. Once you have everything set up, you can save this purchase. Now later, when you receive the order, you can come back here, open this purchase order, and set the status from created to received. Here, you can select and apply parts markup that you have set in your Ari Auto Repair Company profile. You can set the quantity you have received, unit cost, and sale price. By clicking here, you can calculate the amount spent on the parts. You can also add other extra costs such as shipping or tax. At the end, you have the option to add the new items that you just received in your inventory. So click OK if you want to do that. When you open one of these and click on the More button, you have the option to edit the purchase order create a duplicate, delete it, or you can also change the amount that has been paid. 
This list can be exported to Excel. You have the option to show only purchases between certain dates, or you can see only those ones that are not fully paid. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. And remember, you can access all RE features by going pro. You can do this in RE settings. See you on the next one.